Well, the Winter Olympics are finally back in action, and to celebrate, Mitch and I are rocking our 2018 steep Road to the Olympics jerseys today. But that is not the focus of today's show. The devs announced Winter Bash 2 over the weekend, so we will be discussing this mid-season update for this week's main topic. What do they say over on SNL? Uh, stick around, we got a wonderful show for you. <laughs> Here it comes. Welcome back to the Riders Report. Today's episode is brought to you by our YouTube members. Thank you, as always, to executive producers Bone Crusher 2D and Coach 34, along with co-producers It's the Mort and Mitch's Mom, and our fans and fans plus. If you'd like to become a member and help support the channel, hit join down below for cool perks like early access to the shows, emojis and badges, exclusive Discord roles, members-only content, sneak peeks, and more. The Tart of Flight Games Best Tricks series live stream will be on Saturday, February 12th at 12 p.m. Eastern. You can tune into our YouTube channel to catch all around 40 runs. We're going to watch them all, judge them, give some critiques, and then we will be selecting the top 10 to come back for the finals. We also heard that Winter Bash 2 is coming to Riders Republic on February 8th. There are a ton of changes, including the addition of a new sport, the snowmobile freestyle. So we'll be talking all about that in today's main topic. Topic. Well, like we said in the intro there, it has been four years since the two of us have uh, done some work with the Olympics, uh, specifically with Steep and the Road to the Olympics. Don't want to make this a big segment. Just want to say, like, we're both wearing the jerseys. Mine is a little bit tighter than it was four <laughs> years ago. Um, but time has just absolutely flown and what a time, you know, the memories are just flowing back in right now. I'll try to pop up a few pictures of that too. They were coming up on Facebook as a reminder from four years ago today. And it was just such a fun time. Had some of the crew cinematic bone crusher, Dan and three other competitors, I believe. Yep. They were all wonderful and it was just such a fun time and a cool event. I hope we get something like that in the future. Once COVID hopefully is completely gone and then we can get back to going international. Maybe the Olympics will be back in uh, the United States at some point for winter and we can actually hit them up. Yeah, right. I mean, and, you know, not even just Olympics. The X Games mm -hmm. are up there as well. You know, it'd be wonderful to do a partnership with them. Uh, get out to Aspen for one of those events with Riders Republic, especially after what we learned on Friday with Winter Bash 2. Uh, it, this game is becoming more and more X Games by the update. <laughs> I know you're so excited I'm to so see this pumped, one dude. thing mentioned. <laughs> so we'll cover this community roadmap. Uh, there's three main parts to it. So we'll go part by part. This was posted by UB Shizzy on the Riders Republic subreddit on Friday and discusses some things about the future, what's been happening in the past month and a half or so. So very important to go through it all and steep steep covered it and you know was just so pumped about some of this stuff too first they were starting with uh, an apology for the lack of communication just being the holidays being personal things other things work things they haven't had the time to really sit down and post these community updates which they were beforehand and they want to do these in the future and this is a great way to show that they're listening and that they you know have some stuff in the works it's always hard to share what the dev team is working on because a lot of that stuff is private, but just, you know, little bug fixes and different things that they're adding. Yeah. I mean, and yeah, you, you can't really fault them for this. It was around the holidays and we know they've reached out a few times to the community just saying, sorry, we're here. We're listening. Sorry, <laughs> we'll be back soon. Um, but I mean, they are they're putting in some work over there. Um, Winter Bash 2 is going to be massive. They started this update out talking about the issues that they have noted and that they will be adjusting in game. Yeah, they have some fixes coming in this update, which will be February 8th. So I'm not going to do the math right now, but next week before our next mm -hmm. episode, they should be out. They uh, have some fixes to the half bowl in the Riders Ridge. So you shouldn't be kind of flying out as much as you used to. There's fixes for the rumble on controllers, annoying sounds playing while ragdolling, the last reward of a sponsor not unlocking, a weird bug 
when creating a course with a toy equipped never done that so i haven't seen that bug <laughs> a weird glowing yellow item started to take over the world in cosplayers to crash yes. that was hilarious when we saw did some you, of those pictures yeah i was gonna say did you, you saw pictures did you ever see that in real life i like did little diamonds did you no, no. <laughs> I was really upset. As soon as I saw the pictures on Reddit, I tried to go in reloading the game, doing different things, trying to overload it to get those yellow diamonds to show up. Mm -hmm. um, interesting. There were some weird conspiracies behind those. Um, I'd be interested to see if they do make an appearance later on. Like, was that something that escaped from the world that we weren't supposed to see yet? I think, yeah, one of the comments was something about the new multiplayer mode. Like, yeah, that was in a picture with the weird arena. It looked mm -hmm. like a demolition derby. They were wondering if that was an asset that somehow got leaked. And yeah. they were, you know, theorizing and making conspiracies over how the game they, game mode was played based on that weird glitch. Yeah, very interested to see if that comes back. They also fixed uh, certain careers, just not unlocking for certain players. Another good one to fix. And they finally talked about the X Games live event, which was yes. pretty weird, but also important that everyone was expecting something big and, you know, a lot of stuff going on with the X Games. And it did turn out to be the Shack Daddy challenges an unlockable shirt. They did say that, you know, the term live event means different things to different people. And I think that's where part of the mix up was. So they never really got a chance to come out and say, here's what to expect for the X games. They do want bigger events like we were thinking where maybe there's new changes to the map or the radio station kind of added or videos to watch more than just the Shack Daddy challenges. They right. want to do events like that, but that's not what they meant by live event. They have a different term for that that they're working with. So hopefully we'll see something cool coming in the future. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, looking forward to that. Uh, looking forward to them getting to, like you said, closer to what we all interpreted as a live event, uh, something that wasn't just an in-game perk uh, for a certain time period. So yeah, that will be super interesting to see roll out in the near future. But... The issues are the issues, Mitch. Uh, they got to give us something. Uh, yeah, of course, we know that they're looking at all of these problems, but now it's time to get into the nitty gritty. What are you going to give us <laughs> now that you know what you know, what we have to say about the game? What do you have in return? What's what's in it for us? They're giving us some big changes in Winter Bash 2. First off, bike collisions have been reworked to fix the full stop thing that happens in mass races, where if you get hit, mm -hmm. you stop completely. And also cool, they are ready to roll them back almost instantly. So they are ready to change the bikes completely in mass races, at least the physics, hopefully fix a lot of the collision issues. And then if it's not working, they already have the system able to just revert back to the old one and try again. So yeah. it's, you know, good for thinking on them too, just not to change it and be like, oh, that's it. Now you're, we're going to try and improve that. They can take it back yeah, to right. the original if they want to. Yeah. Um, I mean, and th they're also looking at other fall and fail conditions, especially in mass races, uh, shortening that timer to get you back on that track. I know that was a massive issue. You would be so far off in Timbuktu. Someone <laughs> knocks you off and you're losing five or six seconds, mm -hmm. you know, and you're losing 30 spots in a mass race. Uh, that's just not cool. That's not where mass races need to be. But again, these are all, you know, entry level jitters that are being worked out in what is this now? The second up? date third so maybe the second third or third one yeah there might have been a small support one in between there but this is definitely the second big update so yeah it's it, they're still working out these tweaks but i mean there's a lot there's a lot here on this list mm -hmm. they're also making backtrack faster uh reducing the onboarding for new players and uh bumping up the standard star rewards for shack daddy bandit challenges which is great because a lot of people have been posting that it's simply not worth it when you have to pay two thousand to five thousand dollars to unlock a challenge that gets you three stars is just not worth it because you don't get much money in this game. You want to spend that on cosmetics and you don't get money back from the Shack Daddy challenges unless you're completing sponsors or other things while you're doing it. But it's just people weren't making money in the stars. You can get a lot quicker than doing those mm -hmm. challenges. So it wasn't worth it. Um, and there's not too many cosmetics, so people weren't as interested. So hopefully we'll see a lot bigger, a lot more stars being allowed for that. Right, right. 
They are also bringing us new content in this Winter Bash update, though. The first one is there will be a new mass race track, as well as a new type of mass race gameplay for existing tracks. And there's going to be more soon to come on that. So they're making some modifications to mass races. Yeah, so more to come on this. You know, They're going to give us more information in the near future, but that leaves this wide open for you and me specifically. Oh, boy. What is it going to be? It's time for wild <laughs> conspiracies. This may be the only episode that we get to just wildly speculate on what these mass races could be. First off, the tracks. Where do you want a mass racetrack that we don't already have one? All right. You said wild. So they have partnered with Fall Guys and you can do all of the obstacle course maps of Fall Guys on a on the bikes in the game. Oh, you're playing Fall I, Guys on a bike. I really like that. OK, so <laughs> the bikes, did they have any modifications for the Fall Guys characters? Because they are they got real stumpy legs, stumpy legs. Yeah, they <sighs> <laughs> I've been trying Tiny to picture it. Yeah, they're they're kind of on like that. Maybe it's a hand cycle that they're riding around <laughs> or a unicycle. They're all on those electric scooters that have taken over the U.S. Yeah, they're going to add that to the scooters. game. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, I am going to say Cliff Bar is coming out with a <laughs> snowboard that is just a Cliff Bar. Yes, it's just it's just a protein bar. Um. And yeah, you can you can fall and there is a an effect where it breaks, you oh, know, like it. little shards of like the cliff bar falling off as you're going down the mountain. <laughs> as long as it's not one of those. What is it? Nature Valley bars that just crumbles. Oh, yeah. Those into dust, dust whenever you bite yeah. into it. <laughs> you build houses with those. Yeah. Uh, yeah we, we are very excited to see uh, what mass races are going to become. And this is also very encouraging. Uh, this will be our first time seeing something new in terms of mass races. Uh, I know that that was one of the community's bigger complaints. Is there's just not as much to do with mass races as you would like. You know, there's a lot of repetition. Um, you kind of get bored of them. The, the community aspect is fun, but the maps themselves kind of get a little repetitive. So it will be very interesting to see how they make this new map, especially knowing how the players like to interact with mass races now. You mm -hmm. know, they're not going to be adding or subtracting stuff to make it play better. Does that make any sense? That makes, yeah. I, I think it's just like going to be more fun. Out, yeah, the game came out and we were like, okay, yeah, mass races or whatever. We want you to change them here. And then boom, you know, from the beta into the release, they completely revamped them. So knowing that going into a new track, it's going to be interesting to see how they implement that from the start. Mm -hmm. There we go. That's a better way to say that. I think, yeah, when we when they were released, the game was released. We talked about how it's trying to split the line between being just a Fall Guys fun event and yes. a serious race event, and they need to shift in a direction. So I think this new type is going to shift in that direction, see how people like it before they try and commit and make more mass races like that. They are also adding something I know you've been <laughs> waiting for the freestyle snowmobile and it says get ready to do snowmobile tricks God. <laughs> Mitch, i am so excited i could not wait i can't tell you i mean everyone that has ridden this snowmobile has wanted to just send it mm -hmm. and to do something something with it there has to be some kind of mobility in the air and finally they're giving it to us i know it I watched Steep Steep's video. If you haven't, you might want to go check that one out as well. Uh, he cover he goes into depth on his speculations and his excitements as well. <laughs> Sorry, a bunch of people just screaming outside. Um, but I am I'm really excited to see how, what they give us with the snowmobiles and if they're going to give us any. You know, if, or, is <laughs> is the snowmobile just going to feature BMX tricks that are implemented on? the the sled or will they be giving us some different things uh that are just specific to the snowmobile i think just to not get my hopes up too much i mm -hmm. think it's going to be just like the jumbo bike that they added recently where you can do the flips and you can do a couple grabs like a superman i know it's named different but a superman right a no-hander I don't think you're going to get all of the crazy tricks that you get on the trick bikes. I think it's going to be more basic like that or the uh, like the racing bike, the downhill bike, right, not the downhill, right. the road racing bike where you can just do the simple stuff. Yeah, it's, it's a limited trick set. Yeah, I think it's going to be more like that. I'm hoping for a lot more, but hey, the jumbo bike's fun to rip around on with that electric motor. I think it's going to handle pretty similar and just make it much more fun than the snowmobile. 
Yeah, cannot wait. And I also really hope that they put some kickers in there for snowmobile specifically and jumbo bike specifically. Mm -hmm. um, you know, if you watch the X Games events, when those snowmobiles are sending backflips, it is a near 90 kicker. Mm -hmm. um, so something like that in a trick park right at the uh, at the tail end would be really cool to have a couple of those features just for those for those funkies. I hope they bring back the grinding on snowmobiles too. <laughs> be phenomenal. <laughs> <laughs> they are also adding some new customization items, a few surprises, including a special collaboration, which they can't wait to reveal soon. And they will have a live event with Carnival, which will feature more rewards to collect and more unique activities. They are specifying this is a live event and the X Games was a live event, but I don't. No yeah, way. is it is this carnival event the same live event style as the X Games live event was? That this is confusing wording. A little bit, yeah. Just because they said called it the X Games live event, which is yeah. what it was called. Um, I we think understand it, you were confused when we said X Games live event. So here is another live event. Is it <laughs> is it lost in translation? Have you changed? I, I'm not mm -hmm. sure. But something with carnival, it'll be fun. Yeah. It, sure. Hey, look, it is new updated content. Mm -hmm. Full stop. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Carnival isn't before. in the game, so something has to be. If it's just, it might just yeah. be a Rider's Ridge update would be my guess. Carnival is more of a late winter festival. Mm -hmm. So I think it'll just be a slight redesign of Rider's Ridge. Maybe a couple cool things to check out. And of course, some items. Or is they're just going to drop a big old cruise ship right in the middle of the map. I oh, I'm sorry. This think... is Carnival, <laughs> not Carnival. Sorry. I, yeah. Okay, we're all good. <laughs> Don't don't worry. There might be a Carnival Cruise Liner BMX DLC map where you just get to ride BMX <laughs> through a cruise ship. That's the special collaboration. <laughs> We've parked a cruise ship in the middle of the map. Have fun with that. In the Colorado River, it's sideways <laughs> like that one container ship that's just blocking the river. <laughs> We got the we got the evergreen jammed just like the Suez Canal right in yeah. the middle of the Colorado. I could Go just try and unstick the, the cruise ship. I could just imagine like flying over the like the river gorge that's in the game, and then you just see like the top of a cruise ship, and you're like, what the? And then you get to the canyon, <laughs> you see it just sitting. Oh my god! Hey, it would be a fun it would be a fun change to Riders Ridge. That's yeah. all I said. Put it on a cruise ship. There you go. That's season two. <laughs> Yeah, you know, you know what you think about when you hear Winter Bash 2. Yeah. Cruises. <laughs> there is another segment to this, though, that we yeah, can cover sorry. briefly. We'll get to do it again because it's coming later in March. It says end of March 2022, and it's the preparations for the future and heading towards that new season that will be releasing. There's going to be more updates to collisions for ski and snowboard. They're focusing on bike first, but then ski and snowboard will happen. The brand new multiplayer mode showdown is coming mm. and that is coming with the bmx update which is coming a bit later too so there's going to be the showdown multiplayer which i just can't wait to see what that is yeah right exactly maybe it has those little yellow diamond things in there mm -hmm. maybe that's showdown <laughs> we've also got uh 10 new legendary gear and they're gonna have more legendary gear every season moving forward so they're going to be adding more equipment specifically for the top tier of the game and just add more of them as so that's cool because there's going to be you know the new models of bikes that they couldn't have at launch and yeah, then right. have some newer models just more to pick from and it will be legendary so you don't get this cool new bike from cannondale and it's a blue bike that you're never going to use it's going to be right. stuff that hopefully everyone will be able to play with and yeah. they're going to add half pipe behavior half pipe behavior for bikes which a lot of people have been wanting. So it'll be cool to go through the X Games Park on the bikes. Yeah, and finally be able to shred bowls mm -hmm. on a bike like that. That I'm very excited for all of that functionality. Um, you know, it will be interesting to see if I'm sorry, it will be interesting to see um, if that comes before or after BMX. You know, will they roll out the new behaviors, the new physics behaviors before the BMX releases just to test them? Mm -hmm. You know, will we be able to hit these with a road bike in a bowl <laughs> right before BMX comes out? It'll be interesting to see. They've also talked about the shop is going to be updated and they're going to change the experience quite a bit. It's going to take them some time, but yeah. they're working on it. That's the best part. They're going to be adding some more items and 
change it more from daily to a weekly proposition, it seems. So okay. maybe a weekly shop and having more items available each week. I think that's probably the best way to go yeah. since they're kind of refreshing a lot of these items. It'll be nice to just have something. They're taking in a lot of the feedback on that. Yeah. And it w- it's very nice that they're moving to a weekly model as well. Uh, on release, they were probably assuming that more people would be playing this on a daily basis mm-hmm. than you know, that ended up doing that. Uh, This is not, unless you are very hardcore, this is still not a game where you're like, I need to get back in and play at least one, you know, one round. Mm -hmm. I need to go back in and do at least one more thing. Um, So checking the shop every day, that's not the biggest incentive for the community. So yeah, having it on a week to week basis seems like a smart move for now, at Mm -hmm. least. It also helps too for when I log in, uh, a lot of times I I don't have, I have like $2,000 in the game. Mm. And some of the stuff's ten, twenty thousand dollars. If I see something in the shop that I want, I don't have the time. I don't have yeah. four hours to get the twenty thousand dollars or whatever to buy that item. So I'm just like, I'm gonna miss it. So there's no point in getting money when I play tonight. So once it's a weekly, when I see something at the beginning of the week, I know oh, I have like five days to try and get some cash and then buy it. So I Makes really sense. like that idea. These are, next two, these next three updates, four, four updates. <laughs> my God. Yeah, these are the heavy hitters. Uh, besides the uh, you know the BMX reassurance and the snowmobile tricks, these are the bread and butter of this update. Mm-hmm. And these are coming either end of March 2022 towards the summer, so they're not coming right near that update in March, but they're in the next like three month plan, I would say. So we probably shouldn't go into them too much because we're already a long way in. But yeah, the first one, they are bringing leaderboards finally. Everyone has wanted those for races and score events, and they are working on developing the leaderboards, but they want it to be proper, and they want it to be right the first time. There were a lot of issues with Steep's leaderboards and cheating, so they want to make sure they're good before they have them in the game. They're listening to that feedback. Yeah. I mean, yeah, uh, leaderboards are going to be fantastic. We finally get to score chase in this game. Uh, and like you said, we can we can rip through these four because we have some time to talk about these in a later episode. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I'm just going to try and blow through these last three. I didn't really read the update before <laughs> we did this. Um, <laughs> the clans, we will be having clans in the game. Uh, they are aiming again for a March 22 early summer release for those. And we will have more info on what clans mean in the future. Will we have a Nick and Mitch clan? Is this just for local gaming or is this for like, can we stack like 200 people into the Nick and Mitch clan? We'll have shiny pants gang. That's yes, what it is. Very much. Thank you very much. Um, in the land of tricks, wheelies, stoppies, and manuals yes. will be coming into the game. Everyone is super excited for that. It'd be wonderful if we had a director mode to showcase those. Oh. Um, and on top of the wheelies, stoppies, and manuals, you're going to be working with a whole new trick set, a whole new slew of things to throw down on the mountain. They're giving you session markers yes. as well. So no more backtrack trying to guess where to start this run again. No more you know, weird variables where you, want to, you need to start left after backtracking, but it's starting you off to the right. Uh, you will be able to plop your marker down and say, hey, this is where I'm starting. When I hit this button to go back, this is where we're going. Uh, so laying down the law a little bit on that on that forced AI in the game right now. <laughs> that is the most important one by far, yeah. I would say, for a game like this. And if they're adding something like that that wasn't originally in the plans, I have some high hopes. The other cool thing, too, I don't think it came from our idea because that was only a few weeks ago. You will be able to invite your group members to join the session marker and create a better starting position for Claim your it. future creations. Claim it. It was us. Okay. It was what us. What are you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> it was the last that thing that they added on this update. It was absolutely us. Last minute, they're like, oh, yeah, let's put this in there, too. Yeah. That's a good idea. Nick. Someone was watching. Mitch. It was idea was already approved. They were watching. And they're like, ooh, I like that. <laughs> yep, Doesn't say yep. everyone on the map, though, so they didn't take our full idea where anyone can ride by and join that session marker. But just having that where you can have six people in your party join up, have a session marker, and just keep hitting the spot is huge. You're finally going to be able to sesh a spot. Yeah, you can which do is s- like <laughs> you can do uh, what is it? slush. Yeah, that's the name. Yeah, yeah right. You can do slush. You have six people chilling out, hitting one ramp, trying to pull off tricks. It's going to be great. 
I, yeah. I'm so and happy. <laughs> they also just reiterate at the bottom. That is it. That is the entire community update for Winter Bash 2. We will be seeing stuff rolling out next week, uh, Tuesday, the 8th of February. Uh, so, yeah, one day we, we record on the 7th of February. The update comes out on the 8th and then our it goes our video goes live on the 9th. So we won't have gameplay before uh, you guys have hands on this. So have fun. We will talk to you in two weeks about how this uh, update handles. And the devs just want to reiterate one last time. This is just the start. <laughs> A lot has been going on with holidays and everything. Um, they are clearly ready to get into this game and to polish the product that they have released to the public. So we are really looking forward. If every update, if every mid season update is as beefy as this by next year, we should have a completely different game in the best sense. It should be so built out. Um, and yeah, they're just reassuring in, in a day and age where games are not really fulfilling all the things that they've promised just because of COVID pandemic and all that. Um, they're really trying to to make this the best they can and, and give us everything that they have promised us from the start. So well done, devs. After two or three weeks of us, you know, kind of leaning into you, this is this is a wonderful <laughs> refresher. Thank you very much. <laughs>right here we go someone finally found my search and find uh this one was down in the canyons thank you thunder trp for pinpointing this location if you'd like to look at it on the map the coordinates 7448 south by 6485 west that's exactly where that spot was taken it was just on a session looked like an awesome spot decided to snap a picture no rhyme or reason but because Thunder found the picture. He gets to submit a new location. It is on screen right now. Good luck finding this one. I have a hunch, but there are some elements in here. Like this does not look like a repeated location. There are some elements here that will um, really stand out once you find it on the map. I think I do know where this one is too. It yeah. was part of the Riders Republic Easter egg hunting group when we were trying mm -hmm. to look for secret doors. I don't think it's by a door, but it was just a location that popped up as a place of interest because it's weird. So I'm excited right. to see if people can find the spot. Yeah, uh, you if can, you can find it, take a screenshot, uh, DM us on Discord or just get the picture to us somehow. And you will be able if you're the first one to submit a picture of you in this spot, you will be able to find ne or submit next week's clip. I can't speak. You can also submit your own clips or videos or pictures in our self promo channel server channel channel over on our discord server. You're doing it too now. Uh, see, it's very confusing for us old <laughs> folks using technology, but we have three what? clips this week to watch. The first one is from Benny. So I think that's a new subscriber or a new person submitting clips. He's got a yeah, bunch. Benny's, Benny's been in the chat for two or three weeks now. Okay. Uh, pretty active. So well, welcome to the welcome to the family, Benny. Yeah, he's got some more technical tricks riding on the bicycle in Riders Republic, and he has some very cool ones. He also posted a second video of him riding the bike in the Tricks Battle Arena and again pulling off some really cool stuff. Just riding so clean and on a lot of the rails in some very narrow sections. I cannot wait to see him use the editor mode to put together an edit because these tricks are cool. We also had two of our favorite editors post videos from Skater XL, so not quite Riders Republic, but go check them out. Both Stren and Flair posted Skater XL edits and montages that they've created over the past few weeks, and they are gorgeous. I can't wait to see more. Yeah, they are quick two minute bangers. Um, you are doing yourself a disservice if you don't go and check those out after today's episode. Well done to all three of these wonderful, beautiful creators. Uh, and like Mitch said, if you have some content that you would like to highlight to the community, please head over to the Nick and Mitch Discord server, find the self promo channel and submit it there. Thank you so much for joining us for episode 14, 14, yep. 14 of the Riders Report, uh, episode 14 of our guaranteed first 100 episodes of this podcast. Uh, special thanks goes out, as always, to our YouTube members, executive producers, Bone Crusher 2D and Coach 34, along with co-producers, It's the Mort and Mitch's mom, and not to forget our fans and fans, plus... 
you'd like to become one of those members and help support the channel, you can hit join down below and uh, discover all those fun perks that we have going on the Nick and Mitch network, like early access to this show, some cool emojis for live streams and down in the comments. And you know, a couple different little little things here and there. You can also just subscribe for free, completely free to make sure you stay up to date on all of that wonderful Riders Republic content that we are pushing out right now, including this podcast, this weekly podcast and our X game style competitions, which are coming up on February 12th at 12 p.m. Eastern. That is next Saturday next set not this upcoming saturday right the saturday next after. saturday yes correct the saturday following winter bash 2 yes that is correct that is the one um and uh, when i was digging around in youtube studio we just crossed two hundred and fifty thousand views on the channel so no way congratulations we're hey, a quarter, quarter of the way mil. look, look at, at that, that. someone <laughs> can make us <laughs> we both just did. okay yeah that's where we're ending it yeah that's where we have to that, end it that's it Find us on social media. We will see you back here. Same place, same time next week. I'm Nick. And I'm Mitch. And apparently we're saying everything at the same time. So let's try and do the outro together. You ready? Three, we'll, two, one. And we'll, and we'll see, see you on, on the, the slope. That was terrible. I love it. <laughs>